How's it going guys? It's Tech on Style back again with another video and in this video we have the iPhone X and uh, we're going to do a quick review on how long it takes us to charge the iPhone X from 0 to 100%. Now the iPhone X basically comes with this adapter. Now this is like a 5 watt adapter. It's a very small brick. At first I had an impression, impression that this is a fast charger but it's not. It's a 5 watt basically adapter and it takes a bloody long time. It takes around three and a half hours for from zero percent from one percent to hundred percent and that's a long time and this supports fast charging so this has the new tech that supports fast charging but apple doesn't give you a fast charger they just you know ship the phone with this old you know five watt adapter which is kind of small it's nice it's easy to carry around but it doesn't it's not a fast charge adapter now this is my MacBook Pro adapter. I have a MacBook Pro 2017. I've already done a video. You know, you can have a look at it. I can charge with this brick as well. It does support fast charging. I could fast charge my phone, but I need a new cable because this is a USB to USB cable. So that's a bugger as well because I have to invest in a new cable and I have to buy a USB-C to lightning cable. Now that would set me back, what, $25, $30? for a one meter cable and $35, $40 for a two meter cable. So that's a rip off. So I can't charge with this with my MacBook Pro because this is a USB-C to USB-C. And the iPhone X has a lightning port. So this wouldn't plug in. So I, I don't really understand why they didn't put USB-C in here. Now you, you're paying such a premium price for this phone and they can't even you know ship it with the fast charging adapter. Now. You know, with the Samsung S8 and the S8 Plus, you know, that supports fast charging as well. And they do ship with fast charging adapters. So that makes sense. Now, the good thing is that if you have a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus or S8 or the Note 8 or the new Note charger, you can use this. But the good thing about Samsung is that when you buy Samsung, this comes in the box. Now, this comes with USB-C to USB-C. So you need a cable. Now what you can do is you can swap your cable and you can plug in this and use this as your uh, fast charger. I think this is around 9 watts. Uh, it's a, it comes with the Samsung S8 Plus. So uh, if you have the charger, uh, if your family members or your friends or anyone has a spare charger, a fast adaptive charging, uh, then you can use this with your iPhone X. No issues there. Or you could connect this with your uh, wireless charger here. You can plug that in and you could fast charge this. Now I, I'd show you a quick demo that you can use the Samsung fast charger with the iPhone X. Now I have plugged in the uh, Samsung fast charger. Now this is the wireless fast charger uh, that came with the Samsung S8 Plus. And the moment I put this in, it's charging. So I'll quickly uh, zoom so you guys can see. Or oh, maybe I'll try to pick this up as well. Okay, so that says it's charging. So uh, it shows a blue light indicator. So I pick it up. Now it's not charging. When I put it down, it's charging. So you can use your Samsung fast charger as well uh, with the iPhone X. So that's a good thing with the uh, Samsung fast chargers. And uh, you know, it's compatible uh, with these as well and with other fast chargers as well. So you don't have to spend extra buck. If any of your family member, they're using a Samsung S8 or S8 Plus like mine do, uh, you know, it's it's handy. You can use this for charging your iPhone X. Now, obviously, um, uh, this would, uh, you know, usually take a bit longer than if you have this big brick. Uh, but this is really hard to carry around. Uh, you can buy uh, uh, the uh, the uh, uh, 29 watt adapter as well from Apple. But that's going to set you back another, uh, you know, $45, $50 or whatever. You know, you have to spend more money. Or you can buy the uh, Anchor a power port speed adapter, which is a 30, 30 watt adapter for $27.99. Or you could buy a Google 18 watt USB-C charger for $35, but that would be a bit slower. And an Apple 29 watt USB-C charger would set you back $50. I'm sorry, it's not $35, it's $50. So there you go, you know, Apple is charging a lot of money. You know, they should ship this with two adapters, the kind of price they're charging for the Apple iPhone X. They might as well ship with this as well and also include another adapter which is a 29 watt USB charger and put an extra cable as well which is like a you know a USB-C to lightning cable because you know then you could use your MacBook Pro charger as well. So Apple if you're listening uh, you should probably do that. 
So that's it. You know, the if you use these fast chargers, um, like the 29 watt one or the 61 watt one, there's not a huge difference. Uh, it cuts your time into half. From 1% to 100% would take you less than uh, an hour and a half, around an hour and a half. And if you charge with the normal adapter, which is a 5 watt one, uh, it would take approximately three and a half hours to do a full charge from 0% to 100%, from completely drained out battery to 100%. Now, so far, I've been, uh, I've been happy with the battery life. Now, I'll quickly uh, show you the battery usage. In the last 24 hours, uh, most of my battery was used up by the phone calls. I watched a bit of YouTube and then a few apps. And I used a bit of calculator. I did a bit of web browsing, uh, Yahoo Mail, and uh, followed a few stocks. And, uh, you know, time since last full charge is 21 hours uh, because I have a standby phone as well. So I use two phones. So I've been using this phone lesser than the uh, my old phone. Uh, so the battery is all right. I feel that, you know, uh, my uh, sister has the same thing. She has the iPhone X as well. And uh, the battery life on hers has been consistent. It does last for a day. Uh, so that's, uh, that's pretty good. You know, the battery life is definitely improved from the uh, older generation iPhones. It's, uh, it's a bit better and it does support fast charging. So that's a plus, but they don't, they don't ship with the fast charging adapters, which is a very big con and a negative. So that's about it. That was a video on the uh, uh, review on the iPhone X uh, uh, chargers and how you can fast charge your phone by, uh, you know, if you have a spare adapters at home, like if you have this, you can, uh, you know, wirelessly charge this. It would take around, I think, two, two hours, 30 minutes. And if you charge with this brick, that would take you around three, three and a half hours. And if you charge with this, it would take you around an hour and a half. And you can buy another adapters like the Google 18 watt USB-C charger for $35 or Apple 29 watt USB chargers for $50. And plus you have to invest in an extra USB-C to lightning cable, which would set you back another $25 to $35, depending on the size of the cable, the length of the cable. So uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you uh, do find this video informative, uh, you know, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, do share this video if you like the video, uh, you know, and do subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, thanks for watching.